morning guys and welcome back. I'm going to show you how you can do this interesting concept that I came up with showing one side of this as fall decor and the other side as Christmas decor. And I had a lot of challenges with this project, but that was just strictly something on my end. So you can still follow all of these same instructions and I'll show you how to get this, what should have been a much nicer project done. And here's how the other side looks when you flip this on its side. And the first thing you want to do is base coat with either gesso or chalk paint, a light color gesso or chalk paint, your block of wood. Now we want to apply decoupage glue over the front of the napkin, but I want you to make sure you don't cut out the part that you want until this is all done and I'll show you why. Put decoupage glue over the whole surface of the panel of the napkin that you want to use and you let it dry. When you're working on a craft sheet or freezer paper or this is actually three mil plastic that I get from the hardware store. Uh, sometimes I get it on Amazon, depends on however I can get it faster. This is one of the few surfaces that it won't stick to. So I already coated this in decoupage glue and let it dry. You cannot dry it in an oven because you have to leave it on the surface, whether it's your craft mat or this 3ML thick plastic or freezer paper because you cover the whole surface and I'm on the front of the napkin cover the whole surface with napkin decoupage glue. It took a while for it to dry since I had to leave it out and you know it was a few hours before it was completely dry. When you decoupage the whole put decoupage glue over the whole panel like that and you go to pull this away and by the way Leave an edge or a corner free of the decoupage glue so that you have like a pull tab. Just make sure that the images are all covered with the decoupage glue. So when it dries and you use that pull tab, it very easily pulls right up. And so you know I'm working with two different napkins today. When you decoupage the whole pattern, we now want to put chalk paint, white chalk paint on the back, and I want to cover especially the images. And because we're working, that's paint by the way, because we're working with a napkin, you can see right through where your images are. And I know basically from here to here, I'm going to put the chalk paint, which will dry very quickly. And I'll show you why I'm doing that. We put the chalk paint, I'm sorry, we put the decoupage glue on the front of the napkin because this way the chalk paint or whatever paint you're using will not seep through to the front. You might be able to do this with gesso. It's just the chalk paint tends to cover everything in one coat. And now I'm just going to let this dry. idea of being able to put a napkin over a darker background color. That's why I have this beautiful deep rich blue color. It's an indigo blue. I'll cut the rest of these out. But the whole reason that I'm doing this is because if you just put a napkin 
without doing any of this work. If you just put the napkin over the blue paint, you would completely lose your images because the napkins are so thin that the color would come right through. So right now I'm going to paint this piece with this blue color. Now that I've cut everything out, and I told you I'm doing two separate ones, one to show you one holiday and one to show you the other, I am going to apply decoupage glue now all over the back of this and let it dry. So now, now we are going to take our dried cut out images, place it over our surface, and you're going to need two things here. One is a piece of parchment paper, and the other one is either your household iron or a craft iron like this one. So I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to place this image down exactly where we want it. Now I'm going to put the parchment paper over it. You can see I use this parchment paper over and over again, and I am going to iron this image onto our surface because the iron causes the decoupage glue to kind of melt into the surface. Whoops, actually got a little decoupage glue on the outside there. You can use a household iron for this, but I found that with the craft iron, it just gives you a bit more, if not a lot more control. And you might have to do this a couple of times because it's normal to miss a couple of areas. So let me speed up the camera while I finish this. And I'll remove the parchment paper. We'll see if everything's stuck. Now the parchment paper doesn't stick obviously. And this does a couple of things. Now, I, I see I didn't do a very good job down here, so I'm going to have to go over it. I overlapped on purpose because I'm going to file this part away to leave a nice clean edge. But I am going to go over that part again. So another benefit of decoupaging this way is you're ironing out any wrinkles that you might have. Now parchment paper can take the high heat. You want your craft iron on high. I'm just going to file these edges off, but while I'm at it, I'll also show you how I covered this side with the pumpkins. I did the same thing. I added the decoupage glue to the back of this. It's dry. I'll place it down over my surface. Parchment paper. Make sure that's straight. I just took some colors that I had on hand that were fall colors. These aren't necessarily the best matching or complementary colors, which sometimes you can't see until they're dry and on the surface. I'm not wild about that. I'm going to add one more coat of decoupage glue over the surface here. That will be to seal everything down. Then I'm going to let it dry and I'll show you how I'm going to use these. Now that this is dry, I'm adding some glue and a little trick when you're adding glitter. You knew I had to add some glitter on this, right? <laughs> a little trick is to mix up the densities of the glitter, meaning I have the coarse glitter right here. 
And I'm also going to add, let's shake some of that off, some of this extra fine, it's actually ultra fine glitter. Now this has a little bit of gold in it, but that's okay for the holidays. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and I'm not sure what is going on here but the decoupage glue dried cloudy I can't figure out why that happened I'm going to say this I totally hate the way this came out I'm so frustrated but I wanted to put the video out I wanted to show you this great idea the concept is still great you can do a lot better than this, clearly. You can still follow all of the instructions. Here's what I wanted to show you. When it's the fall season or Thanksgiving, you can do a Thanksgiving theme on the two sides, if this is in the center of your table. You can do the Thanksgiving theme here. On the top, you can place a bunch of these fall leaves you can even get from the dollar store one of the vines that has all of the fall leaves on it they're not expensive there place them all over the surface why don't I just show you but here's the idea you decoupage something much nicer than this with better colors to match this vine you can also put these let's turn this out you can put these candles on top and then if you decoupage on both sides that could be the centerpiece for your table on the side i decoupaged the sides came out better than anything that's just uh, napkins that have the faux cork image so that's just on the side now the idea is you decoupage this side and the other side so you can keep this in the center of the table and then when the holiday changes you simply flip it and you now have a Christmas slash winter design and you do the same thing over the surface you add one of these vines that's got all of the Christmas images or snowy images so there you can see over the top I placed the Christmas pics along with those candles you can get the idea here so this would be after the Thanksgiving season has passed you can flip this over and show the Christmas side or whatever holidays you would like. You can even just do one theme per side if you're keeping this up against a wall. Like right here it's up against a wall. If you're keeping it as a centerpiece you want to keep both this side and the other side that's showing the same theme and same with the top and the bottom. And then the nice thing is you can just cover the top with whatever holiday theme you're going for. So guys, that is our video for the week. Things did not go as planned, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So I will see you guys next week with another video. Don't forget, Upcycle with Decoupage is on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And all right, guys. So thanks again. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye-bye.